Hi everyone, this is Ryan from Zoom. The R20 is a standalone multi-track recorder that can also be used as an audio interface and a control surface in your favorite DAW. As a control surface, the R20 allows you to use the transport controls, faders, and track arming buttons on the unit to control your DAW. In this video, we will be showing you how this functionality works in two different DAWs, Logic Pro 10 and Cubase. First, connect the R20 to your computer with a USB-C cable and power on the unit. On the main project screen, select the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen to enter the system menu. Next, select audio interface. On the next screen, you will see two options, stereo or multi-track mix. You will need to use the multi-track mode in order to use the control surface functionality. Then, open your DAW so we can begin the control surface setup. In Logic Pro 10, go to the Logic Pro button on the menu bar. Go to Control Surfaces, and select Setup from the submenu. Next, hit the New drop-down and select Scan All Models. This should automatically install the profile for your R20. If the automatic install does not succeed, hit the New drop-down and select Install. This will open the Install window, where you can scroll down and look for the model Mackie Control under the Mackie Designs Manufacturer. Click Add at the bottom and then click the device in the device's pane. You will need to set the output port and input port to the R20. Now let's talk about what steps you need to take in Cubase. In Cubase, go to the Studio button on the menu bar and select Studio Setup. Next, in the dialog box, click on Add Device and in the drop-down menu, select Mackie Control. After that, set the MIDI input and MIDI output to the R20. Now your control surface is set up and you can use all the transport controls, faders, and track arming buttons on the unit to control your DAW. For more information on the R20, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and visit our website, zoomcorp.com. 